We're going to end up putting crown molding up here where this gap is. That's going to look yeah, kind of nice. And, and yeah. I've never seen like painted crown molding around oak cabinets, but because they're doing the rest of the ceiling, I think it's going to look quite nice. I'm, I'll uh, probably come back over here and make a video of the final product and let you be the decision on that. Final shot of the whole kitchen granite countertops. And the, oh yeah, that will be nice. And the final shot, but the process is nice to see the different steps one at a time to uh, get the process done. Mm -hmm. yep. So Jim, on this first coat of, of paint, and you're uh -huh. just concerned about getting it up there nice, uh, nice full even. coverage, but... Even. Nice even, no lines. But your next coat, you might start from one side and work from one side over. Or right. We'll yeah. see. Yeah, get we'll see what he does. Overlapping and rolling marks and rolling out the roller and not having a lot of excess paint on it. Yeah. You probably haven't gotten one drip of paint off you on you yet in your face, have you? Because you're using that lambskin roller. You'll still get it, depending. Yeah, sometimes it'll come off the edge, but you just gotta watch it and make sure you when you roll out your roller and you on your roller screen. Just, just get all the excess worked into it, yeah. the roller, then you're, you're good to go. Oh, the inside shutters? Yeah. Oh. Rather than trying to dip your roller in there and not rolling it off on the roller screen, because as you're rolling it off on the roller screen, you're giving a nice, even uniformity of paint over your roller cover. That's why you need that roller cover and yeah, and that uh, that grid strainer, and usually the best way to do that is in a five-gallon bucket like that. Five-gallon bucket, yeah. You can, um, you can get mini ones for a one-gallon, but then you can't get your your nice nine-inch paint yeah, roller yeah, yeah. cover in there. Nine-inch you know? roller cover more area one time, you know. You can about five feet. See, he's almost done with this ceiling area already. Yeah, we're making time. Now, before you get your paint into the walls, you'll probably end up doing a little cut in and maybe some other stuff. But you'll you'll wait and do the rest of the ceiling before you get into the walls, won't exactly, you? Exactly. Yeah, because I'll be able to come back over it, and then I'll do a wash out with the ceiling paint and get right into the finished paint for the walls. Because this this paint won't take very long to dry, will it? No, no, not at all. Not at all. It'll be dry here in 20 minutes. You're using an eggshell paint, and it's going to be dry in about 20 minutes. Yeah, on the walls, the eggshell. Yeah. De depending on the temperature and that kind of stuff. Yeah, now, if this was semi-gloss, it might take a little bit longer. Yeah, it does, because uh, when you do a double coat on semi-gloss, you've got a barrier. You sealed it with the semi-gloss, so it'll take a little longer to dry, because the drywall, the dry flat paint dries faster. We're looking like we're covered pretty good here. He just got his light looking up there and checking it out. So you'll be able to see a little bit better without the bright light. But most of the time you can see all the wet edge of what you painted over. You see the wet edge yeah. and then the flat will dry flat. So I think we're looking pretty good. I'm going to get the little roller. Get that light over there. Get that little roller action going to the uh, edge. Looking up here, put the light back on over here so we catch the edge. Mm -hmm. For the mini, 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 mini glaciers. He's moving right along. 
So we've got this is all cut in. The ceiling here on the wall area is all cut in. The ceiling's done in here because we painted it before. We blended it in here. The lines disappeared on the sheetrock line where the other whoop, the other uh, wall was. No, no paint in it. No paint on it. <laughs> so we've got a little bit of area here that we're going to cut in on top of the cabinets. And that will be done. Oh yeah. We're making progress. 